Hey Collective Family and welcome back to my channel, Empress Intuition 1111. We are going to continue to do more afternoon messages. I've been getting tons of channel messages about somebody trying to be like you, somebody trying to swap your destiny, steal your destiny, steal your fame. Only thing it's doing is leaving this person shamed and burdened, okay? So we're going to go ahead and hop into the energy to see, because I did get a lot of channel messages. So go ahead, grab your tea, grab your drink. Okay, get your favorite food, favorite snack, because we're about to get right into this. I do call upon all my archangels and my ascended masters, the most high, and my ancestors to protect me while I channel the messages for my beautiful collective. Any magic being thrown at me, my collective, or either one of my YouTube channels, make it all fall down, okay? And bring out for our highest good. We're going to go ahead and use the beautiful wild muse to see what's this energy of this feminine that thinks she's trying to steal a destiny. One on one. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and see what's the energy on a feminine that's trying to swap out destinies, death spells, blood rituals, full moon, in between moons, new moon. There is a full moon tonight, collective. And if you know you're a divine feminine and you're doing good, and somebody's trying to cloak your energy or be like you, make sure you call back your energy collective. Make sure you call it back for, for protection tonight between midnight and 3 a.m. and your blessings between 5 a.m. and 8 a.m. Okay. Yeah, something is hidden in plain sight. I feel like that's you, collective. Motherfuckers don't know who they fucking with, who they trying to come up against. Okay, period. You got a lot of hope on the horizon. People trying to steal your hope, your peace, your love that you carry, your joy. They're trying to mimic you. You can never mimic a person that's naturally gorgeous, naturally vibrant, naturally nice. Okay, they're trying to put your dreams in a jar. Somebody that's 41 could be involved as well, collective. But they're mad because you're a queen of everything. This person could be 41 and you could be 21. Or you could be 41 and look 21, okay? They mad because you take good care of yourself or something like that. You're very beautiful. I don't know. We're about to get into it. Holy Spirit, what is the energy for my beautiful collective, my divine feminine, my chosen ones? Period. Yeah, stormy. Somebody come towards you, it's going to be a storm. Or I feel like somebody could be trying to cause storms and towers in your life because your life is so smooth and their life is so rocky. Okay, their birthday could be in January or a life path number one could be very significant. Yeah, but the day you planted some kind of seed, okay, you could be 26 years old, but you planted some kind of seeds. And around the 26th of October, your harvest will be coming in for you or you could be 26. Okay, you have to make some kind of sacrifice. Motherfuckers mad because they tried to sacrifice you, but they fucked around and got sacrificed. Okay, what's the energy for my collective? Thank you. Yeah, like I said, somebody that's 41 could be trying to put your dreams in a jar or they see that your jar is full of dreams and they're coming true. Okay, they're mad and they're jealous about that shit. They don't like that. You're very intuitive. You're the queen of everything. Okay, you're the real queen rising. They're mad. Yo, these are your confessions. You could be 20 years old or somebody might want to confess something to you. You're very gentle, loving, and caring. You can also be a life path number seven or the month of July can also be significant for you. Okay. Or the 20th of October can be significant or the 20th of any, of any month can be significant. Yeah, you tell it something like it is. You could have did this back in September or you could be a life path number nine or your birthday could be in the month of September, but you definitely told something like it is. You're speaking your truth. There's a will. There's a way. Period. Divine feminine. You could be 34 or you about to be 34 or something about the 34th could be very significant. Period. Let's go. Yeah. God was hiding you in plain sight because God did not want everybody to see what your value was right away. That's why God made people come towards you. But then when they rejected you, your, their rejection was your protection. Because now God is going to bring you somebody 10 times better, 10 times stronger, 10 times longer. Okay, period. So you was hidden in plain sight for a reason. 511. God did not want everybody to know who you was right away. He was hiding you for a reason. But now it's time for you to pop out. Okay, you was hidden in plain sight. But now it's time for you to pop out and show a nigga. <laughs> period. Yeah, you could be 48 years old. Or 46 years old, I'm sorry. Or the number 46 could be significant for you, okay? Or you could be seeing 34 or 46, period. You could be 47. You could be just living your life and having fun. No screens attached. You ain't trying to tie yourself down to nobody. You ain't trying to be pinned down to nobody, especially at the age of 46. You got your own things that you're working on, okay? You might just want to be single. You might be very beautiful, body nice and fit, nice and toned. But yeah, you definitely be telling it like it is. You, always, you, you speak your mind. You don't like to play games. You like to speak your mind. Yeah, people want to play unconscious games with you, 
trying to put you in the middle. Sorry, that, I think that was a bug. But I got my window open. Yeah, but there's people trying to play a con unconscious games with you, put you in the middle of something, have you in third-party situations, trying to fuck with your head, your crown chakra, your heart chakra, your throat chakra, shut you up and silence you. Bitch, never. You could never, okay? You could be a life path number 11 or 11. It could be very significant. Yeah, you're getting your beauty sleep or they could be trying to send dreams to you, bad dreams, or they could be trying to cloak your energy through your dream state, okay? You're very beautiful and you're sleeping. You could be 18 years old as well, or the number 18 could be very significant. Two more, Holy Spirit, thank you. Yeah, you're very much connected to nature, the most high, the source. They're jealous of you because you're connected to source. You could be an earth sign as well. Or this could be an earth sign trying to put your dreams in a jar and because you are so connected to earth. And they know you're divinely protected as well. We need one more. Yeah, you telling something like it is. You letting these karmics know. Whatever, whoever trying to be like you, you always got something else to do or say. Yeah, you took some kind of leap of faith. Hold on, we got to get. Yeah, you give zero fucks about what somebody think. And you got, um, you're very, got, you got in tune with your body. You disconnected from somebody and now you on fire because you let go of somebody. You you disconnected from the pain and the trauma. Now you on fire, divine feminine. You walked away. You could be 42 or 44 or you could be seeing 42, 44. You can also be a Sagittarius or a Leo or a Scorpio or a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Yeah, you could be a life path number six or six could be very significant. Okay, the month of June. But you're eating good, taking your probiotics. Coochie don't stink. You don't drink no soda, okay? You smelling good, looking good. And you're giving zero fucks about whoever talking about you. Whoever think they got something for you, God got something for them, okay? You don't give zero fucks about what somebody think. That's why you're doing so good right now. You're rising and they're all falling because you don't give a fuck. You walked away. It's a good thing. Yeah, you decluttered. You took out the trash, including them. Sorry about that. I just seen 7-Eleven. Yeah, you took out the trash, including these people. You decluttered some shit from your life, okay? You could be the 13th of the month could be very significant. Yeah, you might need to get more sleep or they trying to fuck with you in your dream state because this came out again with beauty sleep. Yeah, they trying to disconnect something so you can't get downloads or something while you sleep, period. They trying to block your downloads from the most high, but they can't do that. Yeah, nobody can block anything. Yeah, your confessions are coming out, how you truly feel about people. You're not playing no games with nobody. You could be 20 years old as well, or October 20th, somebody gonna know something. They gonna hear something. You gonna take a leap of faith. December could be very significant, or the month of the December could be very significant, or you could be a life path number 12, or October 12th could be very significant. You got love in the air, okay? With number 16. Yeah, you enjoying the journey. Life path number eight or August could be very significant for you as well. You're manifesting magic. You could be 30 years old. Or October 30th, some kind of magic that you're doing is going to come through for you. Something's going to pass over for you, collective, okay? So just know divine feminine, divine masculine, you know, most high chosen ones. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody fucking with y'all. They can't mess with you. You are the magical one. Let's go to earth and bones. Let's No, let's see what they're trying to do. Let's go to these. They're mad because you really are magical and they just want to pretend to be magical. Yeah, you can let go. Surrender to what is. Accept. Letting... The water, letting go, water, not resistant. So, yeah, you could be a water sign. You could be, like, purifying your energy, keeping your energy clear at this time. The great goddess, transcendence, divinity, great, shaky, shake. You could be 32 or 42, or you could be seeing 32, 34. But see how she's naked and she's healing? She got nice titties, too. Yeah, so whoever you are, you got a nice body. You look real good. You real pretty or whatever. They're jealous of you. So, yeah, God was hiding you in plain sight, so he knew when to bring you out, okay? And he always makes a will out of your ways, okay? What's in touch with your body? What is this for divine feminine? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not underestimating my own magic anymore. You are no longer underestimating your magic. You know your magic is real, okay? Your birthday could be in August, or you can also be a life path number eight. The lover, Aphrodite, passion and abundance, okay? Scorpio energy, you could be a life path number seven. It's okay to surrender, to feel the good feelings. You surrender, you got all these butterflies around you, okay? You're very happy the day you planted some kind of seeds or something like that. Gemini energy, you can also be a Gemini or a life path number seven. What's the day you planted the seeds for the collective? Yeah, you're being patient for your harvest to come in. Be patient, it will come. The sun, manifestations, power. 
So whatever seeds that you planted is coming through for you, collective. You're manifesting some kind of power, some kind of magic right now, okay? You could be seeing 11, 11 a lot, or you could be a life path number 11, or the next month in November is very significant for your magic to manifest into, the, to, into fruition to actually come through for you, period. Yeah, the servant queen. You are worthy of beautiful things, divine, magnetic, valuable. This person tried to say you wasn't valuable, you wasn't nobody. They tried to downplay you, put your dreams in a jar. They tried to hide you, okay? They tried to cloak your energy at the same time and live off your and live off you, but try to downplay you at the same time. Your birthday could be in March, or the number three could be number, very significant, or you could also be a life path number three. Sorry for stuttering a lot. I just don't want my phone to go dead. Or my mic to cut off, okay? What is gentleness? Yeah, this person likes to play on your heart screens. They know you're very gentle, very kind. Temperance energy. This person is very manipulative as well. These karmics that's trying to manipulate your energy and take your gentleness, okay? Take your kindness for a weakness. You could be 23 or October 23rd is very significant. I just seen 1102. Give to your mind. It gives back to you. So you're learning right now. You're giving to your mind, body, and spirit. You're just being inspiration mood cycle you're, you're very inspired by yourself and others are inspired by you you're always in a good mood you try to keep your spirit high and you definitely close out some kind of cycle with these idiots yeah what's connect with nature yin and yang unity balance energy manifestations i am divine flow you could be a life path number two or february could be significant in a move with the align alignment so you are in the mood with the alignment of the universe like i said whatever you're trying to manifest at this time is definitely going to come through for you because you're doing all the right things and taking all the right steps to get there okay just stay abundant keep going you can also be a life path number two i've already said that sorry for repeating myself okay now what's there's a will there's a way they just flying out potential and possibility yeah that is calling for you reach out to your potential future high i'm sorry your future your high self self core self quarantine so they want you to kind of go in hermit mode self quarantine kind of quarantine yourself and just hold on to your possibilities because there's a will there's a way so don't give up you're so close to your destiny your destination is right around the corner Right when you give up, that's when things start happening. So do not give up, okay? You could be a life path number five or the month of May can be very significant. What's hidden in plain sight? I just seen 12, 25. Your birthday could be around Christmas time or something around Christmas time is going to happen for you. you know, somebody could be doing trying to mirror magic. They're trying to mirror your energy, siphon your energy, but you're hidden in plain sight. This person can't steal shit from you. 13, 38, the mirror. Self-reflection, writer, big picture. You're seeing the bigger picture. You could be 26 or somebody that's 26 is trying to do this. Or the 26th of any month can be significant, but with this hidden in plain sight, then this mirror, I feel like somebody discovered who you was and they tried to steal your energy because they tried to keep you hidden so they could try to reveal themselves as you. Yeah, that's also what I'm getting with that, period. But that shit did not work. Yeah, what's no strings attached? Breaking into the bloom. Time, liberation, understanding, okay? Sometimes you will break before you bloom. You're going to see the dark before the light. But that's why you have no screens attached. You're not holding on to nothing too tight, okay? 13, 18, you're, you're just letting things be freely. You're not make, making no promises or holding on to something too tight or like, you know, trying to make sure something's going to be there. You're like, okay, no screens attached. If this is my business partner, that's my partner. If this is my new lover, that's my new lover. You're just going with the flow. You're not making anything official, okay, which is a good thing. Find those who inspire you. Yeah, grow together. You are connecting right now to people that want to connect to you. No conscious, got, no, blah, blah, blah. They're not playing conscious games or unconscious mind games with you. You're connecting with the right people. You can be 33, okay? Community, connection. People are giving you a lot of recognition and respect at this time. Okay, collective, what's the confession? If this is resonating with you, go ahead and hit that like button and give it a big thumbs up. Turn on your post notification bell so you always know when I upload. I just seen 1405. Yeah, you're very rooted. You're very grounded with your confessions. You're, you're confessing to yourself all the things you've been through, okay? you Are you ready? Number 17 adventure ancestors are calling you this is your confession that god is called for you to do something okay no more games it's time for you to get up and make it happen 14 24 go get rooted go get deeply grounded there's a portal we are in the 10 10 portal this is your time okay period what's zero fucks given for the collective yeah october 20th can be significant or the 20th of any month you don't need it all figured out a gifted guy, stars, chaos, opportunity, zero fucks given. You don't got it all figured out, but you don't give a fuck about nothing else but what God has for you. 1444, <laughs> period. You're not worried about nothing. You don't got it all figured out, but you know you're gifted and you're guided. You're being divinely guided, okay? 1555.
Yeah, you're honoring the flow of all your emotions. The alchemy, process and sensitivity, okay? Scorpio energy, period. What else does my collective need to know? Oh, this is such a beautiful reading. I love you guys so much. The alchemist, period. This person know they can't fuck with you. 15, 11. Oh, I don't break that easy. Not anymore. Instead, I use everything for fuel. Empowerment, pain, sources. So, yep, you're doing this to them, period. They thought they was hurting you, but they they, they only gassed you up. Yeah, 39. Somebody that's 39 years old could be trying to gaslight you, but only thing they're doing is gassing you up, making you better and better. Okay? You can now let go. Surrender to what is except letting go. Look at that. And it always comes out to the front cover of the magazine. People mad because you got that model energy, okay, collective. You got that star power. That's what that's about, okay. Fifteen forty-five on a timer. You accept it yourself and move down. You don't give a fuck about who don't accept you neither. Yeah, eternal center, guru, protection, peace, steel, calm, steady, eternal. There's a place within me. Period. You go within. You go deep. Some soul searching, some shadow work, something that these karmics don't do. Okay. They're mad because it's the God in you. Okay. Period. Now we're gonna pull a couple. We're gonna pull a couple high vibrational cards. <sighs> I want to pull the she serum, but I'm gonna pull Kyle Gray. Mm -hmm. I guess we can't get Kyle Gray out today, so we're gonna pull a few of these. If I can get the box open, I hate when I don't have the boxes already open. So sorry, collective. Please forgive me. But yeah, this person's mad because you're an edge walker. You take things to another level. You're willing to take a leap of faith and walk away. They're not They're not that type of person. This person's very clingy. Whoever's trying to be like you can't be like you because they're very clingy, codependent. You're very North Node, independent, self-sufficient, beautiful. This person thinks they're ugly. You're very nourishing. You can have kids. People like to nourish you and cherish you. They don't cherish this person. They look at this person like, ew. <laughs> 1702, they think this person is very nasty and rude. You're very beautiful, very classy, very clean, very well put together. What is the energy? Yeah, self-devotion. You love yourself. They don't. And you're protecting your peace. They're mad. 1715, that you're very protective. You like to protect your peace. Yeah, focus. You focus on what you need to focus on. You got your third eye open. You're illuminated right now, period. Something they would never be. They're not true. Yeah, self-devoted. They came out again. You're protected, self-devoted, and you're focused, period. Yeah, people very curious about you. Motherfuckers is curious. They want to know what you got going on, collective. These karmics are mad because you didn't took off on their ass. Emergence. Mm -hmm. You're emerging into whatever God has for you. You're okay to grow and glow. You're going to continue to do that. And you're going to continue to be bold. 1750 on the timer. What else for the collective? What does the collective need to know? Yeah, you're growing. You got a lot of power, star power, Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius energy, okay? This person is really nasty and trashy. They give anybody permission to have their body, and they can't do that with you, Divine Feminine. Not anybody and everybody can fuck on you, ma. Meh. You don't fuck with it. They're mad because you got power, and you're the motherfucking royal cosmic out here, the alchemist. They're nothing like that. They're mad. Because of your growth and your strength, your resilience, okay? Your self-reliance, your self-devotion, your bravery, your your faith that you have within God. They jealous of that. And most karmics are going to be jealous of divine feminine because divine feminine has so many qualities that, you know, the karmics don't hold. Reverence. You can also believe in God and go to church or love to pray to the most high. They don't do that. They're the devil. You're not. You're a mystic out here. Mm-hmm. You're a star seed, okay? You have a lot of courage. This person got to stay lack self-courage, self-confidence, self-worth. You don't lack these things. Everything that you are is what they're lacking, okay? 1858 on the timer. Yeah, you're a visionary. Self-devotion came out again, collective. All seeing, you see all. You're very intuitive. You're definitely the divine high, divine being, okay? You're definitely divine feminine out here. You're a visionary. You got a vision of yours. You hold on to it. They're mad because whatever you envision is happening. They're mad because your shit's coming through and coming true. Okay. The alchemy, nobody can stop you. You will be heard. Nobody can shut you up or take no kind of power from you. You amplifying some shit. You're going to multiply some shit on these hoes. Okay. Times 10. What is going on for my beautiful divine feminine? Divine feminine energy, please. Star seeds. Angels, spirit guide leaders, okay? What's going on for the beautiful ladies? All my baddies, period, because you walk edge. You do edge walker. They don't like the fact that you take a leap of faith. They don't like the fact that when you go into something, it always works out for you. Everything you touch turns to gold. 
1955. You're the empress. What I tell you? Empress energy. She's the empress in reverse. You're the real empress out here. They don't like that because you amp. Ooh, they mad. They knocking shit over. Yeah, because you amplify shit. Okay, we're going to leave that right there. We are going to try to pull a couple of these. We're at 2010 on the timer, 2012. Mm -hmm. Somebody could have been trying to be like you since 2012. Girl, bye. You've been trying for 12 years to be like somebody? And since 2020. Somebody's been trying to be like you for probably the past three or four years. I feel like people just watch you and take notes. Like I said in my short reading, they might pause the video, slow it down, rewind. They doing shit like that. Yeah, you need to come home to your body. You are definitely a divine fact of the universe. I cannot make this up. You are a divine feminine. They're not. You walk with the shamans and the lords, 40 nights and 40 days with Jesus, okay? You believe in God. You hold your faith. They don't. Energy for the divine feminine, please. Divine feminine energy, please. Couple cards from here. Oh, they flipped. Okay. Okay, here we go. Yeah, you are supported by your angels, your spirit guide. They're mad because you're supported. Nah, 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 nah. They're not supported. They're not loved. Nobody don't trust them. Nobody don't want to be around them. Yeah, you are very protected by source. You are surrounded by angels. They cannot fuck with you. 2118. This is the card I was looking for. You call back your power every time. They mad because when you call back your power, they feel that shit. They're like, damn. She called that shit back. You are worthy. You pouring into yourself right now. 2130 as you should be. The world is very blessed to have you because you're speaking that real shit. Whatever you tell it is real, baby. Whatever you got, whatever knowledge you hold is real. Yeah, you need to trust your gifts because they're real. Your gifts are real. Theirs are fake. And the ones that's coming toward you is real. Whatever gifts they get is through the devil because they sign in deals with the devil. 2151. Yeah, raise your vibrations is a mantra that calls you up to light up. Yeah. Keep your vibrations high. You don't vibrate on a low frequency. You vibrate, like I said, too high. The magic don't work on everybody because some people just don't vibrate like that. If you way over here and they way down there, you be like, oh, see what I'm saying? They way down there, 2212. Yeah, somebody vibrates too low. Relationships are assignments. You don't got time for that shit. If you feel like you got to talk every day to the same person, repeat yourself, that's a fucking assignment. The relationship should come easy, not too much work, okay? Manifest your superpowers. Confirmation. You're manifesting with your superpowers. The superpowers that you have, yeah, you're a truth teller. The truth is your teacher and your leader out here, which is the most high God. And the people that hire God, people like me. Yeah, your mind is an altar of energy source. Your mind is very powerful, very dangerous, okay? These people need to go clear their karma. Mm -hmm. 2248, they're facing a lot of karma. 2252. Yeah, honesty is your best policy. You're not a fucking liar. This karmic likes to run around and lie. She lies about everything, lies about being pregnant, lies about this stupid shit. She's a fucking liar. Yeah, your breath connects you to life. They need to go clear their karma and stay the fuck out your business and out your way because the vine will fuck you up over them. Or, yeah, you will get fucked up over them. They will get fucked up over you, okay? 2317, forgiveness brings freedom. You forgave them. You moved on. Yeah, that's why you're free. You are grateful for the earth. You love the earth. You love the stars and the moons, okay? You love life. You love being alive. You love to shop and, and just do you and get shit done. Yeah, abundance is a state of mind. That's why your mind is pure, and that's why you're going to come in on all this money because you know how to manifest your superpowers, period, and your mind is clear. And you make a way for others to have miracles. Whoever fucked up with you, too. I bet you they feeling bad. They got it bad like Usher. They wish they would have kept you because you smart as hell. You know how to manifest, period. This is the last one. My sexuality is sacred. Whatever you do behind closed doors, you don't run around and brag about it. You don't talk about it. You don't have to tell nobody about your sex life. You can be celibate, okay, like the short video. You can be not having sex for the past 90 days. Or you can like women. Or you can be women, women into women or men into men, but your sexuality is very sacred. And it's also nobody's business. This karmic might want to know that you like women so she can try to lick on you or play with you or something like that. You know, this bitch real dirty, real nasty. She could be thinking about you sexually, you know, what she want to do to you sexually or if she had the chance, what can she do to divine feminine? Not a damn thing. We don't fuck with trolls or peasants. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I love you guys. Until the next one, peace.